Hey guys, happy Saturday. I have a new hyper fixation I want to talk to you guys about. <laughs> okay. Oh, first of all, I have my wrestler hair because it's still wet, but okay. So I have been hyper fixated the last like day on the solar eclipse. Now, here's the thing. I just learned so much information over the past like 24 hours that I am so fascinated by this that I'm like, I can't even do anything else but like think about this eclipse and research it. So guess what? I am in the path of totality. I've never heard of that term, that word ever, ever in my life. I didn't even know what it meant till yesterday. So I started to get into it because I was talking to our little gingerbread house and we were like talking about the eclipse and I was like I don't know what it is like I'm not interested like I'm just gonna stay home like I have no idea what it is and then I was like well maybe I'll research it like what is it so like I knew what an eclipse was but I didn't understand like how like incredible it is like I never like truly I didn't very ignorant and naive to what okay I'm gonna this is very embarrassing for me to admit but I know better now but I thought the whole world is seeing it Monday. Like I thought everybody sees it on Monday. Like I thought like it's just going to be something that happens everywhere. And then upon research, I realized like, no, it actually goes in a path. Like, and those are the people who see the full solar eclipse. And I was like, what? Only these people in this path see it? And I'm in the freaking path. Prince Edward Island made the cut. So only half the island is in total totality. So um, the island's really small. <laughs> so only half of it, the west point of the island is, oh, there's a car pulling in next to me. I freaking have this camera on me. Okay, anyway, um, I'm just not gonna look at them so then I won't be embarrassed. So I'm going to go to the point of the island that is in total totality and I'm going to sit there and experience a solar eclipse and I am so excited. I literally had no idea what this was until yesterday. Like I've heard of an eclipse. I know what an eclipse is, but I didn't understand it. Do you know what I mean? Like I never knew that it was something that was as rare and as like, like the whole experience of it is going to be incredible. Like I'm so excited. It's all I talk about. I've been sending people videos like my mom and my sister and my brother and Trevor. And now Trevor's into it. Like Trevor was like, he knew more about it than me, obviously. And he knew we were in totality, like in the line of totality and stuff. And, but he was just like, oh yeah, like it's gonna be cool. A school is out on Monday in the afternoon for this eclipse. Um, they gave all of the kids glasses, like the approved glasses for the eclipse. Um, Trevor got some of those glasses at work and like, I was like, so like all of this started to add up. Like I started to like the kids, I noticed like the kids weren't going to have school. They got these glasses. I noticed like on our local news station and the only reason why I've been watching the news, I never watch the news, but the only reason why I was watching the news is because of the storm. <laughs> We're supposed to get a storm. So I've been watching the news to look at the weather and all they talk about is this eclipse and I'm like, oh my gosh, like they're really covering this story. And then I started to, you know, just notice little things. So I'm like, I'm going to research this. It's going to be incredible. Like I'm very lucky. Like I'm very lucky that I live here. Like I'm going to be able to experience a full solar eclipse, like 100% full solar eclipse. It's going to be incredible. I I'm so excited. Like, I can't stop thinking about it. It's on my mind 24 seven. I have fallen down the rabbit hole. My day, my ADHD is working full force. My superpower, it can be such a superpower. It really can because I can learn and really like dive deep into certain things if I'm interested in it. And that's where I'm at. Like I am like researching everything like crazy. Like the last 24 hours I've been just glued to research about the solar eclipse. It's incredible. So a lot of the states are seeing it. And then, so like Maine, and then it's going to go to New Brunswick. So I'm in Nova Scotia, PEI, and it's ending in Newfoundland.
So like we're so lucky, so, so lucky. Like people are coming from all over the world to see this thing. And I'm just sitting here like didn't even know about it. Like it's so incredible. I'm so excited. Like, and you guys know I'll be taking you guys along for all of that. And don't worry, I'm like researching safety stuff and stuff like that. Trevor, I was just talking about the, guess what I'm talking about? Uh, He's already gonna know. Totally eclipse of the heart. <laughs> I was telling them how hyper-focused I've been on it. Yes. It's, it's a, exciting times. Have I been thinking about it and talking about it and watching videos about it? Too much. Anyways, we're going to go and get a burger love. So wait till you guys see this burger. It's my first burger love of the season and it's Taylor Swift inspired themed. Sherry, this area might look familiar to you because I know when you came to the island, I think you walked down the street, but anyway. We're going for lunch, but this is a very popular church here on the island. A lot of the cruise ships, um, they like coming in here. That's the Basilica Church. It's huge, it's beautiful. It's a very popular touristy destination. Anyways, we're gonna go get a burger, love. This is the burger, guys. Taylor Swift. Comes with a side too, if you want, for an extra six. Me and Trevor are gonna share the side. It sounds good though. Trevor and I met right here. Just showing them. Uh, yeah, right there. That's our meeting spot, guys. It's very special. Yeah, look at this. It looks amazing. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> I really love the Taylor Swift music is continuously playing with the Taylor Swift burger. The burger was really good. I would give it an 8 out of 10. So it was very pickly. So if you like pickles, you might think it's a 10 out of 10. I like pickles, but oddly enough, I don't love pickles on my burger. But I love eating pickles. Just I just don't love it with burgers. So I liked it. I didn't pick the pickles off or anything like that and I gave it an 8 out of 10 because it was really good. It has like cream cheese on the burger which was really really good and I, I loved it. Trevor Trevor originally was like this is a 10 out of 10. He was loving it and then as he got more into the pickles he's like I think it's a 7 out of 10. There's a lot of pickles so I recommend it. It was good but you gotta like pickles. If you don't like pickles you're not gonna like it. So anyways that was really good but I want to show you what arrived my bingo dabbers so i seen our little gingerbread house and our little country home or our little country house their cousins they were going to bingo and they had these glitter bingo dabbers and i was like i instantly messaged them i was like where did you get it oh my gosh look, look at the tops of them oh my gosh these are so cute so glitter ink so these are good luck these are, oh, I love those two colors together. So I'm going to bingo tonight and I'm going, it's just me and my mom and my uncle. Just the three musketeers. That color is pretty. And I'm going to surprise my uncle and I'm going to be like, I have a surprise and I'm going to show the new bingo dabbers. So I'm excited. Let's test these out. Okay. Let's see how they dab. Pretty. You can't tell me these are not good luck. These are good luck bingo dabbers. So I got them on Amazon. I can link them if you want. So maybe I'll just put them in the back of my planner here. Or it's the front of my planner. Okay. Let's just... Can you guys see? Ooh! That's so satisfying. A brand new... I've never seen a brand new bingo, bingo dabber before. Oh, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. Can you guys see? Oh my gosh, my mom and uncle, they're going to scream. <laughs> scream. Okay, let's try the green. So satisfying. I love that one. I love green. I love green. At least this way they'll be all ready for us when we start dabbing. The purple. 
I love the co covers of them. Oh, she's pretty. She's more pink, eh? Oh, so pretty. So, so pretty. Okay, I have a pen in here I gotta take out. Let's do the pretty red. Uh oh, the red you gotta really push. <gasps> Ooh! Pretty, pretty. Orange or gold. <gasps> Wait, this one actually might be the luckiest one because it's like a gold. <gasps> that is so pretty. Ooh, this one's rich. And then the last but not least is the yellow. I am so excited to show my uncle. Oh, that's really pretty too. Okay. Let's see. Do these not look like winners? Tell me. How can we lose with these? Oh my gosh, those are so beautiful. Thank you to Courtney and Ellie for sharing your bingo dabbers. Alex is in his glory. Trevor's in the garage and he's gonna get out his basketball net. It's the time of year where Alex lives out there. <laughs> Not sure what the random la the ladder must have been in the way. He's a happy boy. Oh, that makes me happy. He'll be out here from now till winter. <laughs> we'll get lucky in the back seat. Lucky yeah, back seat. and talk about lucky. Wait till you see what I have. What? I got us lucky bingo dabbers. They're glitter. Oh my God, where'd you get those? Amazon, they have glitter all inside them. You're kidding. Yeah, they're all sparkly. I got one for all of us. God, that's good. So eh? they're good luck, and they got the good luck disco ball on them. Jesus, Murphy. Yeah. They're all going to win tonight. Too, so huh? we, we're going to win because we got all these good luck balls. God, we've got a good chance then. <laughs> what? I know. We're going to win. Are we going to win? We got our dabbers. How many times are we going? What? How many times? And we got our machine. Which one? What did you get for two? Huh? Oh, oh, oh! You can pick. No, I picked last time. What? I picked themes. Last time and it wasn't very oh, look! You can pick themes like that. Summer. What's summer? Oh, you want to do summer with the seashells and stuff? Yeah, we'll do that. That's actually easier to read them. Uh, How pretty. This was for a thing to Christmas. <laughs> I was talk about close. I was down to four number. I almost had it. I almost had it. Look how pretty. Me and Mom said the new rainbow. Aww. We didn't win. You are the love I can't show you how to start to find your way I like the old fashioned